Hello there, Smegheads. Welcome to another part of the Pokemon Sacred Gold LP featuring me, better red than Smeg. How are you all doing today? I'm not doing too bad. Woke up pretty late today, so but it's a lazy Sunday, I can do what I want. Uh yeah, so last time we beat Faulkner, and now we're going to go to Azalea Town through that cave that I still can't remember the name of. Union Cave, that's the one. I can't think it was like, you know, it's not Mount Mortar, it's not definitely not Mount Silver. And it ain't the other one. Dark Cave, that's the one. It's not that. It's Union Cave, innit? So yeah, anyway. Uh, our team's a bit... Nope, not the Pokedex. Our team's a bit ragged. Uh, but we'll get up to that to the front. Because Liveridian and Darius are quite well trained. So we'll put Octodad to the front. We'll also give him a potion. Because he's running low on hit points. And I don't want him to get knocked out. There we go. Because if you get knocked out, there's no experience to be gained, and what's the point in that if you want to train your Pokemon, you know what I mean? Anyway, so let's have a battle. Let's battle this guy. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I thought that was the trainer. Well, I legit thought that, that was the trainer, but it wasn't. Now it's the trainer. Like, I was like, oh, that was fast. He didn't even say anything, and he just got in. But it was a hop, and I was like, no, I don't remember him having a hop it, but he's not, and it's Roland, he's got a needle around mail, that's what he's got. Alright, so we should be able to at least do some good damage with Psybeam. I, I tell a lie, it's going to be a 2-8 KO, because I've tried to record this, okay, never mind. <laughs> because I've tried to record this episode for like, a good solid two days, and I've just kept him being like, halfway through going, bollocks, well that too, but I didn't mean to stay in against Pikachu, oh. Uh, oh, Darius, help me out here. But no, uh, it's just like, I'm just trying to record this video, and like, I get about halfway through the recording, and I'm just like, no, I could do better. <laughs> so basically, this first bit, like, of beating Camper Roland here, I, oh, oh, we're getting crits galore here, that's amazing. Oh, oh, oh that's nice. What was I out about? Something about Camper Roland. Yeah, yeah, so I've kind of seen Camper Roland. I've Psy Beam was a two hit KO, and then I got a crit. And this Diggler, last time, my, my, my failed recording, it sand attacked me, I missed, and then it magnitude, and then I died. Uh, here we go, here we go, here it comes! And sand like, and water gun was a two hit KO, if it hits. So here we go. This is a bit of future. Oh my god, I thought that was a crit! I thought that was a second, oh no, a third crit, and that would have been incredible. He used Magnitude, and it didn't kill me, and had Sonic hasn't flinched me, and I'm going to kill it. Octodad! The timeline was, oh, now I get a crit. Why didn't I get a crit at the start? So I could have, like, squealed that I got three crits in a row. Mm, yeah, oh, disappointed. I am disappointed in you, Roland. Very disappointed. Anyway, fuck off. Unless you're, like, a shiny... No, you're not. No, that, 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 imagine if that was. I mean, again, if you're a shiny, and it was a shiny, but hey, that's a good point. Oh, will we, will we find a shiny in this LP? Now, <laughs> full odds, so it could be like one, eight, one in 8,000, but hey, you never know. Well, I, I kind of doubt that. I mean, it's very rare that, you know, but then again, people seem to be sh finding shinies all the time in like LPs, but that's in like Kalos and Alola LPs, which, you know, the, I think the, um, ooh, what, was, what am I trying to say? The rate of shinies is a lot lower in like X and Y instead of Moon, so I suppose. It's like, that's actually a point. Did I find a shiny Pokemon? In Sun and Moon? Ah, oh, shit, I can't remember. I no 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 I remember um no that was it because I was doing the SOS battles like SOS chaining to get a hidden ability Cubone because I wanted to get a Rockhead Marowak because for some reason Rockhead is a standard ability for regular Marowak 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 but it's a hidden ability for a Lolan Marowak and a Lolan Marowak gets Flare Blitz so I was like okay okay that's actually a good because instead of just like double edge I get fucking Flare Blitz. So basically I was looking, looking for a Cubone, and I was also looking for the Thick Glove as well, and then BING! Shiny Cubone came out of nowhere, I was like, shat myself, caught it, without even thinking, caught it, 
Uh, looked at its nature, it was brave, which was all right. Well, it's pretty good, actually, you know, for a Marowak, because Marowaks aren't too fast, but... I wanted it to be a flame charge one, you know, get a flame charge, build the speed and use flare blitz. That's what I was kind of hoping for, but I didn't get it. But it's still cool, I mean, a good trick room Pokemon and all that sort of gubbins. And it, it had the hidden ability, I think the hidden ability for Cubone is battle armor, I think. So it had battle armor, it was brave, it was shiny, and shiny a load of Marowak I really do quite like. Don't like the original Marowak shiny, it's like bleh. It looks like, from what I'm remembering, it's like green. It's like, not vivid green, like Espeon's is. Which I suppose is actually funny, that, because Espeon's uh, shiny form is green, and its name's Viridian, which is green. So I didn't mean, like, that's completely, that's not... That was not intentional. That's just mere coincidence. But we're talking for Viridian. Let's use her. Uh, let's uh, use her in the next couple of battles against the fisherman. But first, let's talk to this guy and get a water pulse TM. Um, no, but like, oh, I just the I just really hate the sickly green Chinese Espeons. I can put up with. It's like a darker sort of green, especially in the 3D games. A lot better in the three. It's like a very dark, sort of nice-looking green. I think I need to remember what it actually looks like. But from my visual interpretation in my head, it's 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 nicer. But I'll still I still prefer the lilac, whatever the color Espeon actually is. So, but yeah, I'll go. Is there any other shinies that I got? I can't remember. Uh, any other sun and moon shinies that I didn't PKX? That I actually got legit. Oh, there is one. I can't, I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. This is frustrating. What, what was it? Ah! What was it? Oh, no, no, I, 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 no. Let's let's move on. Let's go. Let's talk about like when the X and Y shinies. Because like it seems like X and Y, I like, got bare shinies just randomly. Because at first I got a, um, it was like a shiny uh, Smeargle pops up. But it killed itself from struggle, so that was a bit devastating. But it doesn't really look that good anyway. Um, shiny Drapion. Now, I really like the red in Shiny Drapion in the DS games. In, you know, well, obviously this one, Platinum, Demon Pearl, Black and White. It look, they're looking, Black and White, they look incredible. It looks amazing, but it looks so drained of any, like, it look, doesn't look like red. Like, it doesn't look completely like red. It's like a really new watered down red. And it's, I'm not really as much of a fan of it, but I did get it. Um, there was another Pokemon as well that I got a shiny of. But I think it might have been. No, that was it. Mime Junior. That was it. Mime Junior. Like, twice. Twice I got a Mime Pissing Junior. Because um, I was uh, doing a bit of a uh, defense. Um, EV training in what's it called? Reflection Cave. Doing a bit of that. Um, like EV training defense. You know, doing the whole. Um, oh, what is it? No, was it special defense? Yeah, no, it was special defense because I was I was hunt. That it was uh, Mime Junior. That's basically what it is. And then knocking them out, getting the you know like you know, getting the experience. But then one Mime Junior shiny popped up. I was like, oh bloody hell, that's that's that's. Great, but it's shiny, so I'm still catching it. And then another one popped up, and it was like, oh. And then spending ages, absolutely ages, because this is when I was at uni at the time in Aberystwyth, just spending time on the train using Masuda Medi. Med Medi? Mm, no, fuck that up. Using Masuda method to breed a shiny tyrant. And it took me ages. It took me. Ages to breed a shiny tyrant. Like it took me like the entire three-hour trip there of just constantly hatching my headphones in, and I finally got it. Literally, as we we're pulling into Aberystwyth, I finally hatched a, ty a, a tiny shiron. Nope, a shiny tyrant. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. Checked its IVs, and it had a zero IV in attack. And I was really annoyed, so I kept that, and I tried it again tried it again for the, for the journey coming home and I managed to get it and it was uh, I think it was a 5 IV one which was much better and the like the 0 IV was in like defense or special defense so it wasn't even a 0 IV I think it was like a 20 or like 30 or something like that 
but it had the important stats. And I really like Shiny Tyrant. I really like Shiny Tyrant. I think it looks gorgeous. And I love Shiny Tyrantrum as well. It's like, instead of the gold sort of frills, it's got the silver trim. And instead of the red sort of cracked soil earth sort of colour, but I don't know, desert colour, you know, it's got the blue and it. I really, I, I like, I like Tyrantrum as a whole, to be honest. So, it's a, it's a, it's one of my favourite. It's one of my favourite fossils, I think. But I do have, I do have a, like a little soft, soft spot for uh, Aurorus as well. It's kind of a cute, well, Amora's cry like. <laughs> I'll move on. <laughs> Let's move on then. Anyway, that was a bit of a discussion, wasn't it? I spent about 10 minutes talking about shiny Pokemon, but let's go back into sacred gold. No oh boy. We've got some magic art to fight. Come on, really. Let's just like confuse them, get rid of them, and that'd be fine. See you later. Bye. Alright, so what, if we're just being against magic art, I might as well just send in a wiki. Uh, let's try Octodad. Just side beam the tits off because <coughs> I've probably mentioned because I, I don't watch my other videos apparently to actually know what I've talked about, so I might have already mentioned this and just repeating myself. But even with with both water gun and side beam on a Pokemon that's neutral to water and psychic, side beam is going to be the better option for the time being because well, a it can confuse and it's got 65 base power, while water gun even with stab. It's got 60, so I might as well just side beam. And it could also has the extra chance to confuse. Now, I did get the Water Pulse TM, so I could teach that to Octodad. I'm undecided, because I don't know Rem Raid's um, learn set. And to be honest, we will be getting, like, you know, Surf at, like, the fourth gym. Uh, I don't know what Rem Raid learns via level up. I could. You know what? While I'm facing this Feebus, I can double check, can't I? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's have a look. Rim Raid, need Heart Gold Soul Silver. That's Diamond and Pearl, that's not Heart Gold Soul Silver, but I'll still learn it anyway. Rim Raid, where are you? Rim Raid! There we are. Ooh, we've got a level up for Octodad. That's perfect! Oh! oh. And this is why I really like. Rem Raid and Octillery. They learn so many cool moves. And I was going to say, like, oh yeah, level 14, it learns uh, Aurora Beam. Oh, it learns Bubble Beam at level 19. Oh, it already learns Water Pulse at level 32. Oh, so we don't need to teach it at all. Uh, so that's alright. I would use Aurora, Aurora, Aurora Beam. Oh, we could have had Aurora Beam for, like, Faulkner. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm still a bit stuffly, as you probably could tell, but uh, we'll, we'll manage, I suppose we'll manage. Um, I've just realised we're like 15 minutes in and we've not even got through this cave yet. Um, so I'm gonna... No offence to Totem Sue, Dirty Dan and Egg here, but you guys are not really being used. I don't know if I mentioned again if I'm... Um, I'm gonna be using like a B team. Like, a B team, I have a B team. I might have a B team, like, you know, maybe we have the A team with, like, you know, Darius, Viridian, Octodad, some of the other guys that might be playing later. And then we'll have the um, the B team, which might have Totem Sue, might have Banjo sort of thing. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I don't know exactly when I'll bring them in, but who knows. So, uh, oh, St Stravia, obviously perfect for uh, Aurora Beam. Uh-huh, let's use confusion, don't... Oh, just... oh, that, 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 oh, that did nothing. Like, for some reason I thought that was going to do loads, but it's quick attack, isn't it? <laughs> it's not like blitz attack, or like... Blitz attack? What's blitz attack? Uh, <laughs> let's just move on and go to someone else for Anakin. Um, let's go to Darius, because we'll need Darius for the uh, the second gym. So more training is good for Darius. I do want to uh, test out my new Grand Spanking Aurora Beam though. So we'll do that in a second. And when does Darius learn Flame Wheel? Oh! Ooh, 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 that was nice! A crit and a burn! Oh, Darius, you are the hacks master you are. I'm liking you. <laughs> but no, it was, um... Fuck it, I'm going to have a look to see when Urkulava uh, learned Flame Wheel, because I don't know if... 
I don't know if... I know Typhlosion's special attack is higher than its attack, but... Oh, well, perfect. We're going to keep that in. We're going to keep Quilava in for Oddish. Hopefully, gets another crit and a burn. Go on. Oh, burn. No, that's not fair. <coughs> what level does Quilava and Flame go? 20. Oh, not too far away then. And I don't know if... <coughs> let's, have a, let's have a brief look at Darius' stats. <coughs> they're, <laughs> they're exactly the same. All right then. Oh, oh, what we're doing? Oh yeah. Uh, so well, they probably will vary. Like, oh wow, now you get the crit, Darius. You need to like start getting your crits earlier, Honey Bunch. Anyway, in two levels we'll get Flame Wheel, and we will need that for the gym. Even though the like, Flame Wheel's got like base 60 power and it's physical, it's still got more base power than Ember. And if we have the Nidorino, come on now, let's get up to Dad in on Nidorino. We've beaten the Nidoran. Now it's time for the Nidorino. But yeah, Flame Wheel is going to be a good staple until we get Lava Plume, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's use Psybeam. Well, I love it how we're faster. Oh, come on. No. Oh. no, no. Oh, no! Octodad, please, don't. Don't be like that. Well, we'll just trounce him with Viridian then. So. Right. Right. Like. like you may have survived the side beam, but you're not going to survive the confusion. I did. I, I, today has been crit central, and I might call the episode crit central. It's not like a clever one, but you know. Oh, um, for record, it learns lava plume at 35 for lava does. But yeah, I might as well call this episode crit central or Critopathy! No, I'm not calling it anything like that. That's bullshit. Ignore that. Like, you, well, you would know what it's called because you'd have seen the title before you've seen this part of the video. So, oh, what? Well, I'm chatting. Shit. I'm chatting shit. Let's move on. <laughs> let's use. I'm thinking about using. Let, let's keep Octodad. Octodad of the main team is kind of behind. So, let's use Octodad for a bit. And look how. Give me. Hello. Boop, boop. He's feeling great about walking with me. He doesn't have legs, but he's feeling great about it all the same. Union Cave, that's the one. I'm going to see if there's any Pokemon of interest in here. Geodude, no. I don't know. Geodude, like... I, I never use Golem at all. Because it just doesn't interest me. I'm just sick to death of the sight of it. Well, Geodude and Graveler, I'm not fit fond of, but I do I do like Golem. It's just that to get it to a Golem, you have to trade, and sometimes if it's a normal game, like not like this one, but if it's like a normal game, you, you had to trade it, and I didn't have any. Like, I, well, I did, but he wasn't the most uh, pliable when it came to trading. Um, like, because I very rarely had like Golem, Machamp, and Gengar, and like, all that sort of good stuff. But now it's easier because I do have like, well, I've got like three DSs. I've got no, I've got four. I've got one DS, one DS Lite, a one three DS, and one three DS XL. So, in terms of trading with myself, I'm all sorted. But it's just in games like, well, in X and Y, I can't trade with anything because I lost my oh, you cheeky bastard. Because I. Lost a Mega Ruby. I traded in Alpha Sapphire for Pokemon Sun. I just traded away Y because I needed money and it was crap. Even though Y was the one I got, I preferred X because I prefer the I prefer the Pokemon in X than in Y. But I've basically Pokemon X is the only gen that I can't trade with myself because I've got red, blue, yellow. Gold, silver, crystal, I don't technically have. I do have, but they're kind of broken. But I don't... But that's what emulators are for, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, I've still got all of them. I've actually got a friend, Sapphire, and I've, I've still got my original Ruby. My original Ruby uh, save file that I got ages ago. I this is the I've not even started because normally I start again a lot of my games so I never remember what my first team was. But Ruby, even after all this time, nearly 15 or so years, I still have the same sapphire. I still have the fully completed decks. 
They still have my original Blaziken on there. My Bla Blazer, what a ridiculous name, Bla the Blaziken, who's naive. Oh, yes. yes. I think I talked about this last part about, um, you know, each of the generations and memories of them. But no, Ruby's... Because I've, I've completed the Pokedex in three of the games, original Pokedex, and that was in Ruby, uh, Pokemon Diamond, which I lost in Poland, and I was devastated. Uh, and also Pokemon Moon, which is the most recent one. And when Gen 8 comes out, I will certainly be um, trying to complete the regional Pokedex. Maybe even the national Pokedex and that, because why not? And oh! <laughs> no, 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 Octodad, why did you not hurt it? When you got critical hit, this is ridiculous. It's not. I'm just chatting shit as per usual. Anyway, yeah, so, um, I suppose if I did have a question of a, of a video, it would be how many or which one of the games have you completed the regional Pokedex in? Or the national, which it sounded, that was a really terrible question. I'll reword that. Have you completed the regional Pokedex and in which game did you do so? Multiples apply, so you could just say the multiples. Oh! I've just realised something. Heart Gold has got a different. Never mind. It's the same. It's the exact same. I just got distracted by Cerebi saying how much um, what Quilava learns between the different gens, uh, different games in Gen Two F4. But it's pretty much exactly the same. So I, I lied. Sorry. Oh, I don't know why I ran from that. I could have knocked it out. Oh well. Uh, what time are we doing? We're we doing okay for time. We're doing we're doing decently for time. So I think we should. Uh, we could. I think we'll get out of Union Cave by the end of this point, or at least get a good way through. Now let's heal up good old Remoraid, Octodad here, and let's carry on. We got Rock Tomb, which I didn't even notice. I was too busy talking about Ruby, uh, and an X Defend. That's really. Uh, that's me getting myself back into the swing. What? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to annihilate this Onyx for the water gun. And I'm hoping that we're faster. We might not be faster, but we are timid. Come on, oh yes! I really like Onyx. It is definitely one of my favourite Generation 1 Pokemon, and I really want an excuse to use it. Again, I can't remember if I've already said this. I need to watch the video before I record. <laughs> or have a better memory. But no, I really like... um. Onyx, I think he's, uh, he's one of my favourite Gen 1 Pokemon, and I really want to use, because he's got a stat boost in all of these um, uh, Dreyado ROM hacks. Hi, Tanya. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I was about to say, my character's not called Tanya, it's Swedley. Not bad. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, so, I get, oh, what was that about? Shit. Oh, yeah, like Onyx. Because, like, Onyx has got, like, some stat buffs in, you know, the Dreyano, the, um, these ROM hack games, and I really want to use it in one of them, but I'm thinking not in this one, I'm thinking in Blaze Black 2, because it has increased attack in Blaze Black 2 to 85, the same as Steelix, and also because it's 5th gen, I can use an Eevee Light on it. I don't know whether I've already mentioned that, I probably have, and I'm probably just repeating myself over and over again. Which seems to be the theme. I meant I've repeated myself about repeating myself like five times. It's a wonder why anybody watches me. <laughs> yeah, uh, what was that about? <laughs> Onyx. I know, I was on about Onyx. But yeah, I may use Onyx in a later playthrough. Probably not this one, but I, I do really, I really do like Onyx. Like, it'd probably be in one of my, if I ever do make a top ten video, because... If I ever make one, it'll probably be it'll probably be up there, like with Rapidash, because I quite like Rapidash as well for Gen One. Because normally I am quite sick of Gen One. Like I am sick of Gen One. I am sick of the pandering of Gen One. Bloody hell! Let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu. Rub me up the wrong way. I will say that. But I've just not bought them. Like I don't have to buy them. I don't have to play them. But apparently I'm not allowed to have an op opinion if I don't play them. But I can't. Well. It's because of the opinion why I didn't want to buy him in the first place. I am more looking forward to Generation 8, and let's go Pikachu, and let's go Eevee, so... Yeah, and if, uh, 
Not saying that I wouldn't cons heavily consider a Let's Go set in Johto or Unova. You know, I'll, I'll heavily like, I'll consider that. It's just a lot of the things in um, Let's Go kind of didn't sit well with me, really. I mean, the removal of abilities and like natures. No, not natures. They've still got natures, but the removal of abilities kind of annoyed me a little bit. And most of the um, most of the moves and the more damning one, most of the Pokemon. That that did kind of set the ball rolling for me, just not wanting to play it or buy it or anything. But anyway, that's besides the point. That's let's go. I my opinion of it is low. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Out of that came out of nowhere. I'm trying to be like diplomatic. I, I could be a lot more harsh towards it, but what's the point? It's the people. Are, it's good for what it is, but it's just the motion controls would piss me off too much. Like they would piss me off too much because if I kept having to do it, like, and apparently it's not really work responsive. Anyway, let's move on from that. And I wanted to say talk about Generation Eight, but Generation Eight hasn't even been revealed yet. So I can't really talk about it. But hey, I might talk about it in an episode of Sacred Gold when it actually is revealed. And probably take up most of the episode. Like how me chatting shit about Shinies and how much I don't really like Mega Evolution. Did I talk about that? Or was that a previous attempt? Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> this is why I should like, try to record for two days. <laughs> and, and talk about various topics that I'm not talking about in the actual video. Ah! Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on and get out of this cave. Please, this cave is making me talk shit. The talk shit cave. Well, it's a talk shit video. I need to stop. <laughs> anyway. What am I doing? Oh, slow. Oh, God, slow poke. This is not good because I don't really have anything of... Of note for Slowpoke, apart from Viridian's bite. Uh, oh, na great! <laughs> great, that's exactly what we need. A way of making it lower, even lower damage. Like, oh, three eight KO, flinch. Thank you. <gasps> Crit or flinch? Flinch again, flinch again. Oh, you didn't quite flinch, but it's fine because you take tackles. Like, oh, now you get the crit, you. You are really clever. Anyway, I think he's got another slow poke, or he's got a Q bone. Yeah, he's got Q bone. We can go back into good old Octodad. We can again because Ice is weak. You know, sorry, what? Ground weak to Ice, and Aurora Beam has 65 base attack power. Not attack. We might as well go for Aurora Beam instead of um, Water Gun. Because like with that five extra, that five, and it can lower attack. Yeah, why have we got water gun still? Well, we'll get bubble beam in a bit, and that's going to be our main stab move in a couple of levels. So we'll we'll make do with that. So okay, let's knock out this cubone. Which funny enough, I always talk about cubone, when I you know the shiny cubone. See, I remember that. Or do I? <gasps> anyway, <laughs> let's no, please. Unless this is like. A good no, it's just so bad. Right, well, no, no, we'll we'll take this out with an aurora, aurora, aurora beam. We'll take it out with an aurora beam. And I've just realised that in this uh, particular rom pack, Zubat has anticipation because normally has in, inner focus. In, it's, so I think it's got inner focus and anticipation. Inner focus and anticipation. There we go. It's a bit of pointless trivia for you. Well, it's not really pointless. It's just. I need to know basis. And oh, Cubone! Speak of the devil. Ah, uh, oh, shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Let's, let's see if I if I don't knock it out, which I don't think I will. Will oh oh that's annoying. Oh, I've just been clubbed. Let's go clubbing. No, uh, let's try and catch it. I'm not really. You know, I'm from not one of you. Maybe not use it. I don't really know. I really don't know. But we'll just try and catch it and see what happens. Oh, we caught it. Now, if it does, if it's not wielding, if it's not holding the thick club, that's fine. We are able to get a thick club later on in the game. Uh, oh, imagine if it was a lonely nature as well. Cubo. Mm -hmm. 
what we're going to call you, whether we're going to use you or not, I don't know, but we are running out of time, so hey! I'm going to nickname it and then, yeah, you know, I was going to like make it on a cliffhanger, but no, we're just going to be really simple and call it Bones. There we go. Okay, so we didn't quite get out of the Union Cave, but we are literally a couple of steps away. Let's check get this. And then I will be seeing you next time for the seventh episode of Pokemon Sacred Gold and Sacred Gold. See you later. Goodbye. Have a smashing time.